good morning good afternoon good evening to all our followers our viewers around the world today we have decided to bring to you one of our talented artists who has been in the music game for years now and is none other than uh, we cannot introduce to you by ourselves he's going to introduce himself to you guys you make me feel alright Hello, <coughs> hello, Jalab people. This is your boy Joshua Jonathan Okot, uh, famous, famously known as uh, Clax Banton, aka Afro King Zadi. Oh, uh, Clax Banton, a nice welcoming you to our channel. Uh, this is a home of entertainment, a celebrity gossip, and other things. Uh, the mp3 downloads and others uh, we would like to know more about you when did you start your music career um thanks a lot for the question um i like lux banton i started uh, serious music uh, in 2017. uh were you still were you in high school or you were out of school already uh, by then i was still at high school mm, when you started when, when you started your music career uh when you joined the music how did your parents feel or react over your um, journey? Person on that, there, there was no that good um, reaction. But then, uh, you know, with these things in Africa, in most cases, our African parents tend to kind of always find it so hard to like give in and support uh, wholeheartedly when it comes to this um, life kind of uh, music thing. But then uh, I, like, since I had the passion in it, I knew uh, maybe it was a God's calling, so I had to insist. Yeah. Uh, who really inspired you to join music industry? Um, I was inspired by a couple of people, starting from uh, the uh, long-time legendaries like uh, Bob Mali, Lucky Dube, and um, here in Africa. People like uh, Wizkid, uh, the likes of Banner Boy, yeah, I was inspired by quite a lot of people. Why not? Why not your local musicians from home? Why not? Um, a few of them inspired me. People like uh, Bosmic, uh, people like um, Jerry Okwera, people like uh, Geoffrey Oriema. There's then the list is quite long. Yeah, I I always hear I say that you resemble. Banner boy, is it true? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but uh, that's uh, you know people's words. I don't know. I'm not very sure, but maybe, <laughs> maybe. Okay, mm. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, when we come to the music, uh, uh, to your music career, how many songs have you so far released? Um, I have a couple of songs. Cl come close to fourteen. I have around fourteen audios. Which song rose you to fame? You get? I believe um, it could be loyal. Could loyal. Be loyal. Why do you say loyal? I say loyal because uh, it was um, that song that at least uh, brought me lots of connections. Uh, it brought me like uh, it, it. It took me like far. Because uh, it's a song that got me engaged with a lot of people. It's a song that draws my views uh, and subscriptions on YouTube. It's a song that at least uh, made people start kind of giving me that attention, you know. So I feel like, and it's a song that at least people's feedback were a little bit more, much, uh, much more positive compared to the songs I've been doing in the past. You know, that's why I believe it's that song in particular. That's great. That's um, amazing. Uh, yeah. uh, really, uh, when we come to the development of the uh, music industry in uh, 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 Kiriandongo districts, what do you say about the music industry in Kiriandongo? Uh, well, as far as uh, Kiriandongo music is concerned, what I got to say is that uh, Kiriandongo still lacks a lot in music, though we are trying. You know, Kiriandongo being much of uh, a, a settlement, area because you know it's it's having like mixed tribes yeah so it's really very very hard to push music down here and uh, it's quite hard to do what 
land directly on a certain kind of audience that you would like to address because uh, people are all scattered uh, different tribes here and there with different perceptions and different mm-hmm. cultures so that is one of the things that makes uh, uh, Chirandongo music still kind of very hard and lagging behind and another thing is uh, the the kind of media work here and uh, promotion and stuff still lags a lot behind so that's why I say I think Chirandongo music is still kind of developing and lacking a lot that needs to be fixed in oh I heard that there's a lot of juju like people artists practice a lot of witchcraft in the music industry what do you say about it well uh, based on that I don't know much about it because uh, first of all I don't know how some people do it I don't I've not heard or maybe I've not seen someone doing it it could be right or wrong but uh, according to me I feel like everyone knows what he does best and people have reasons as to why they do things because what works for someone else might not work for me or for the other so I I, I don't have much to say about that really yeah, yeah <laughs> what if but, someone one day drags you into it won't you go no it cuz you need possible. fame you need fame and you need your music yeah, to I move need, i need fame but you know fame takes time and you need to follow, follow the right path you know you, you shouldn't rush for things you, you shouldn't rush you know they say when you rush you crash it's true yeah always follow the right path and always don't forget to pray because it's only god Good. that can lift you out true you know? rather yeah when you when you think of a shortcut uh, you know shortcuts are always wrong cuts and true. they end you yeah where well, unnecessary jane <laughs> <laughs> cut short yeah, uh, oh short shit. Uh, which artist would you really admire to work with or have a collab with in northern uganda Uh, yeah, as far as northern ugandan music industry is concerned uh, like overall like uh, the fem- both female and uh, yes both i think i would love to work with uh, quincy that's among the females because she's good yeah she's good and uh, among the, the males i would like lo- like to work with uh, i think Eddie Weezy. Wow, wow, wow. Why have you chosen to work with Eddie Weezy, bro? Tell us. Okay. <laughs> I have I have uh, my, my 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 reasons and uh, yeah, I will outline a few of them. One, he's uh he's a very humble guy according to how I've known him. He's humble, he's persistent, he's hard working. Uh he's very uh, he really knows what he does. You know he's so authentic in his work like he knows why he's in the industry and i feel like he's the right kind of person i should work with yeah why the, uh, what of the female why did you choose uh, chose to go with the uh quincy uh, i i i chose quincy because uh, you know she she's this one person that who is a uh, She's nice like I'm, I'm not meaning like <laughs> nice looking. you are you are don't you want to do to oh, us she's um <laughs> she she sings nicely um and she has the vibe you know she has the groove because uh among us, the female artists I've seen up there most of them kind of some of them force <laughs> things and you know you can tell when 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 things are bad. but she's, uh, she she she's flexible you know she she, she just flows oh uh, there's a saying that, that they, uh, we had a lot of rumors that her quincy has now gone down she's no longer all that releasing good music eh? but you're still standing st- strong on your toes and choosing to work with her really um i i i, th- I think i've just told you my reason for <laughs> just true. Her. you true. know according you know people people see things from different perspectives true uh me i would still love to work with her or anyone else even if you've gone down actually that would be the very reason as to why i should work with you because if you're good and you're down which means there could be some reasons as to why you are dragging like you're drowning so you never know i might be that uh, savior or maybe i could be like I would be having the potential to give a helping hand in one way or the other so I would still work with you. 
So uh, if, whether you're lagging, like you're, 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 you're collapsing or you're still shining, if you got it, you got it. Okay. Uh, if you've been given a chance to choose one of the female artists in Northern Uganda that you marry, what would you go for? To do what? You marry or you fall? Yeah. Nah. Uh, or you date? No, I. I don't think that uh, that could be necessary to like car because no you don't have we don't some of those <laughs> things we don't plan <laughs> you don't plan that i would love i would date so and so uh, there are many besides, people having crushes on their fellow musicians so you get that's the reason why i'm bringing who would you be having crush on uh i don't have crush on any and i don't think i'll have crush on any perhaps god knows <laughs> what might happen but <laughs> Like, but now, uh, I want to say, nah, 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 nah. Come on, you have something you want to tell us. Tell us, please. Okay, I feel like we should reserve this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank but you, I, brother. I'm taken, though. You're taken, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much, brother. Um, I would like to ask you some of the few things, uh, the benefits that you've uh, actually got in, from the music industry. Ever since you joined the music industry, you get um, some of the benefits. Yeah, I think uh, I've benefited um, knowing people like you. I've benefited knowing like uh, lots of people out there. I've, I've I've got a chance to communicate how, what I feel and make it reach out to those who can't meet me in real life. I've uh, I've managed to change people's life. Uh, you know. With the music I do, that's a, already a benefit to me. Uh, I've managed to at least, uh, and perhaps doing music uh, is something I love. I really feel good doing it, so I feel like I'm benefiting that I am satisfying myself and very many others while doing music. So it's good to me. That's already a benefit. Yeah. Uh, what of the challenges mm. that you've met in the music industry? Uh, there are quite many challenges, you know, music uh, is something that picks lots of attention from all over the world and uh, music is one thing that uh, grabs a lot of uh, stuff, you know, it pulls negativities and positivities, people will always be there to throw words and people will always be there to react to whatsoever you do. So some of the challenges are faced in this music thing is that Sometimes people tend to lose trust on you, most especially family, and most especially those who don't really support what you're doing. They feel like, ah, uh, it does this, it does that. Like, you know, very many people tend to take musicians, they spoiled people. And uh, as far as uh, respect and dignity is concerned, I feel like some of those are, those are some of the things uh, we face challenging being in this music industry. The other is um, finance. You know, we're still trying and uh, things are not easy out there because everything in this music needs cash for Money, you to yeah. get the support, for you to do good music, for you to reach out uh, the fans with nice stuff that can make them really give in uh, <coughs> that time. True. For you, you really need to put out something epic and really nice to impress them. So finance is one of the challenges. And then uh, the other is, um, I think, um, uh, maybe um, besides all the rest, um, balancing, balancing this music thing with a uh, other day-to-day day yeah. kind of yes. routines. Yeah. Sometimes it's not easy because uh, I, like me, you see, yeah, I'm still a student. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a, I'm a like, how should I say? I'm someone's son. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so and it's someone's easy, dad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not. And uh, I'm someone's pride too. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not easy for you to balance those things and still uh, stay in the same lane and keep it uh, up there. So it's, it's not easy, but nevertheless, we're trying to push and make a living. And make it like all happen. True. Okay. Uh, now, our last question is that: mm. What advices, or what advice, do you have for your fellow musicians outside there, or the upcoming artists, or either the, the old one, 
no the old the, the, the young the young one you get mm. we are seeing many people are getting lost in the music industry more especially the young one because mm. mm, they're trying to copy up they want to copy and be like the old stars you get yeah, yeah. My advice, uh, I want to just, I have like three things to say. First goes to the, the, the ones that are now making it. Um, what I have to say is that let's always not forget where we came from, because already, uh, that is what lifted us to where we are right now. Most of us tend to forget our roots. Uh, you know, you tend to undermine the people who raised you, like the fans who started giving you the support when you are still a nobody. The promoters that stood with you uh, and the society around you that is not good because all of them can be the reason for your downfall when they when they mean to quit it with you yeah so let's always not forget where we came from and uh, the other advice that I give um, is to the upcoming you know sometimes we tend to come with a build uh, get a lot of pressure Sometimes it's our inside, uh, our internal pressure uh, that could be maybe for fame, for money, and for that uh, you know public kind of relations. But uh, what I want to tell you is, uh, let's always wait for the right time, because you know they say God's timing is always the best. Let's always uh, take things on a slow pace. You know, yeah. But uh, it's not bad to be sharp, but at least go through the right path. When the right time comes, you will shine and things will happen as you want it to be. And uh, always, don't forget to pray. Don't forget to always love yourself. Always be fresh. Love yourself. Every morning you wake up, be like, yeah, you know, I made it, I got it, and I'll still go far. <laughs> your last be. word, your yeah. last word to your fans. Wow. My last word to my fans is... Uh, you know, I and I like Laksabanta and I love you so much and I know that you're out there really have everlasting love for me and I want to assure you people that I'll always make you proud, I'll always lift you guys up there, I'll make us shine together, you know all I beg is, uh, let's always continue put, uh, showing the love let's put in a uh, lot of um, focus in these things we're doing and uh, to all those who follow Laksabanta music I want you to always Keep that uh, spirit and always never let it go down. And the, yeah, the last word is that where can someone get your music? Uh, you can get my music right on uh, Low Tunes, you can get my music on Harry Bass, you can get my music on Northern Boys, you can get my music on my YouTube channel and very many other online platforms. You know, just go check out uh, Clark's Banton Music that is on YouTube. Uh, and the other platforms, then you can also reach me out on other social media platforms and follow me, please. Just go follow me, I beg. <laughs> thank you, bro, <laughs> for your time. Thank you, thank you so much for your time. Nice, nice, bro. Thank you.